Hey guys, we're back for another episode of Books with Belle. We've got Belle over here sleeping on the couch. Yeah, it's just you. And we're gonna read a book called Postcards from Pluto, a tour of the solar system. So we're gonna look at all the different solar uh, planets in the solar system. And I read this book and it reminds me of the way the the day the crayons quit and the day the crayons came home and that um, each each one has like a letter and so that's what we're gonna read. So the author is Laureen Leedy. All right, so here's the title page, Postcards from Pluto. Welcome to Space Tours Inc. I can't wait till we blast off. And they're going like in like a trip and their parents said, don't forget to write. Writing letters. All right, here we go. So here's, this is the sun. As you can see, and we have inside, next to the sun, we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. There's an asteroid belt, and then the rest of the planets come after. So Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And then sometimes Pluto is called a planet. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a dwarf planet. I think it just depends on which scientist you ask. So uh, the robot says, Welcome aboard. I'm Dr. Quasar, your tour guide. You probably know a lot about space already, and as we travel through the solar system, you'll find out much more. Take a look at this model. All these planets, moons, asteroids, and comets travel around the star. We call the sun. It's a big star. The asteroids form a ring around the sun. Okay? So it's kind of like, um, like a belt, so it's around there. I see nine planets. Four of them are much bigger than Earth. So only four. So the Earth is in the top five of the biggest planets. All right. Everything in the solar system is in motion. Each planet rotates or spins. The planets orbit or travel around the sun, and a moon orbits the planet. All right. So here you've got the sun, this planet, is going around the sun, at the same time you've got a moon going around the planet. And so it's kind of like double going around. Our solar system is part of a huge group of stars called a galaxy that is rotating through the universe. We are here in the Milky Way galaxy. So um, Earth is located in this galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. It's not just candy. So we are rotating and orbiting at the same time. That's right, because also the galaxy uh, is spinning. First, we'll fly by the biggest, hottest, brightest object in our solar system, the sun. Right, the sun says, Dear Mom and Dad, did you know that, that the sun is really a star? It's only a medium-sized star, but over one million Earths could fit inside. One million Earths could fit inside the sun. Uh, we can't fly too close because of the intense heat. Millions of degrees. Stay cool. You're Ray. <coughs> Ooh. P.S. The sun has darker, cooler blotches called sunspots. So, um, it's like taking me a longer time to read it because they have like symbols and I have to figure out what the symbols mean as I read it. All right, here we're at Mercury. First planet next to the sun. Dear Uncle Freddy, guess the planet. One, it's closest to the sun. Two, it has the shortest year. So only 88 Earth days. So Mercury has a shorter year than Earth. And three, it has no water, no air, and no moons. If you said Mercury, you're right. Also, it's it is burning hot on the sunny side and freezing cold on the dark side. Goodbye for now, your nephew, Eric. So it looks like half Mercury is hot that's facing the sun and half is cold facing away from the sun. And it's got a very short year. Alright, here we go. Venus is the second planet from the sun and it rotates backwards compared to other planets. So while all most planets are going this way, Venus is going this way, the other way. 
Dear Debbie, we saw Venus today, and it's a little smaller than Earth, but much more dangerous. It's covered with thick, poisonous acid and clouds. The air has enough heat and pressure to crack spaceships. Venus has lots of ear-splitting thunder and lightning, too. So, that is a very scary planet. It's hot, it's got acid in the clouds, it can break a spaceship, there's thunder and lightning. So we have Mercury and then Venus. Dear Mama and Papa, why is Earth the only planet with flowing water to drink and plenty of air to breathe? And why is Earth close enough to the sun to keep warm, but far enough away to keep cool? Nobody knows for sure, but it's lucky for us that Earth is the planet with life. Yep, so we're the only planet with fresh air, running water. We can stay warm and cool at the same time, the perfect temperature. So just the right amount of distance from the sun. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, and we're going to talk about the Earth's moon. We have one moon on Earth. Guess what? We saw actual footprints of the first astronaut to walk on Earth's moon. His name was Neil Armstrong. He actually had two other astronauts with him, too. One was Buzz Aldrin. And the third one, I don't remember his name. Okay, it makes you feel bad for him because he was up there and no one remembers his name. So we'll have to look it up later. We left our footprints, too. They'll last forever because there's no wind or rain to destroy them. I guess a meteor might crash down on them, and that's how the moon's craters were made. I hope a meteor doesn't land on us. P.S. On Earth, I weigh 72 pounds, but on the moon, I only weigh 12. And that is because of gravity. So the gravity on Earth is stronger, which pulls you down to the Earth, making you weigh more. On the moon, it is lighter, so it doesn't pull you down as hard, and so you don't weigh as much on the moon. Let's see, they said, this moonwalk is great. What would happen if I took off my spacesuit? You'd suffocate because there's no air. You'd burn in the sunlight or freeze in the darkness. You'd also starve to death because there's nothing to eat or drink. What makes the moonlight we see from Earth? So at night, when we see that moon, what makes that light? Well, the moon has no light of its own, but it reflects sunlight like a mirror can. There's sure a lot of rocks and dust. So the moon is kind of like a mirror reflecting the sun's light, and that's what we see on the Earth at nighttime. All right. Why is the sky pink on Mars? The air is full of reddish dust. Sometimes there are terrible dust storms. All right, so here's Mars. Here's a poem about Mars. It's called The Red Planet. Canyons, volcanoes, clouds of dust, boulders, craters, the color of rust. All the things you need to know about Mars. Canyons, volcanoes, clouds of dust, boulders, craters, it's all the color of rust. It's all like a red color. Scientists think Mars used to have water in rivers or oceans. It still has ice at the poles. You see they have ice here and here. It's like the north and south pole of Mars, which is why scientists think there used to be water on there. But it's a desert planet now. Because there's nothing going on there now. It's just a desert, basically. All right, so here we're at the asteroid belt. Dr. Quasar says that asteroids are big chunks of rock. Most of them stay in the asteroid belt, but one could drift out of orbit and crash into a planet, even Earth. P.S. Don't bother wearing helmets. The chance of an asteroid hitting Earth is very small. <laughs> so they could hit Earth, but it's a very small chance. All these um, big chunks of rock are staying in the asteroid belt that we saw up here. It's around the sun. All right. So we have asteroid belts. So we had what? We had sun, and then Mercury, Venus. Ooh, skipped Earth. Earth. 
Earth's moon. We hit Mars, asteroid belt. Now on to the last few planets. All right, so here's Jupiter. You'll notice Jupiter has a ring around it. What is this ring? Let's see. Jupiter is made of gases and liquids that swirl around. It has a great red spot, which is really a huge storm. So you can see it here. It's like a thing of a tornado. It's like that, but huge. You can see it from out of a whole other planets. So is that big? All right, did you know that Jupiter is the biggest planet? So what's the biggest planet? Jupiter. It has colorful stripes and a very faint ring system made of dust. I think the weirdest thing is that Jupiter has no solid crust of land. Maybe it is sort of like melted ice cream. P.S. It has no moons. All right, so Jupiter does have a ring. It's not made of asteroids. It's made of dust all gathered together. Um, and it's not solid. When you think of Earth, we know that it's hard, it's solid. Um, Jupiter is a gas planet. All right, so you can think of it as like, kind of like she said, melted ice cream. It kind of stays together, but it's not solid. It's made of gas and liquid. So that's Jupiter. And here we are at Saturn. Saturn also has rings, but there's more and they're big. All right, Saturn's hundreds of rings look solid from a distance, but they are made mostly of many small pieces of ice. All right, so Jupiter's made of dust. Saturn's made of ice. All right, here's the poem. Saturn's rings, snowballs and icebergs drifting in space around the planet, the icy chunks race. So they don't just sit there, they're moving around too. I think Saturn's the prettiest planet. It has more than 20 moons, and scientists keep finding new ones. Earth has one moon, Saturn has 20, and rings of ice. Saturn's got a lot going on. All right, so let's review real quick before we get to the end. So we have Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Asteroid Belt, Jupiter, Saturn, and our next planet is Uranus. Look, Uranus is sideways. I love the color. Most planets orbit the Sun upright, but Uranus is on its side. Uranus is the tilted planet. It looks like a spinning top that fell down. Scientists think a big asteroid could have knocked it over. The whole planet is covered with thick blue-green fog. Uranus has rings just like other giant gas giant planets. Also, it has 15 known moons. So we've got 15 moons, we've got rings, and instead of being this way, this planet is on its side orbiting the sun. So the blue-green color comes from that fog around it. Very cool. All right, and here's our last planet planet before we get to Pluto. So we are at Neptune. Neptune's a nice blue planet. Here's a quiz for you. Which planet has eight moons? Which planet has blue clouds? Which planet has the great dark spot? The answer is Neptune. <laughs> so here's the great dark spot. You can see it's got blue clouds. It's got some rings. And how many moons? Eight. Eight moons on Neptune. So I think Neptune's another gas planet, right? Because it's got the rings. All right, here we go. Our last one. And it's Pluto, like I said before. Some people consider Pluto a planet, some a dwarf planet, and some that's not a planet at all. It is very, 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 very small. All right, so when I was your age, it was considered a planet. I don't know when this book was written. Yeah, it doesn't even say in here at all. This book could have been written when I was little, and so it does have, we'll see what it says. Can you believe it? We are six billion kilometers from home. 
So Pluto was 6 billion kilometers from Earth. Pluto is the very smallest planet and the last one in the solar system, as far as we know. Scientists think another planet could be hiding out here. Maybe when I grow up, I'll discover it. Alright, so Pluto has one big moon, so here's Pluto's moon called Charon. Alright, and look, it's not that much smaller than Pluto itself, alright, so that's why it looks like it's a big moon. But this book is considering Pluto a planet, um, but it's, it's debatable as to what scientists say, if it's a dwarf planet or not a planet at all. Here are some of the space words I learned. Asteroid, which is a space rock. Comet is a chunk of frozen gas and dust. So a comet and an asteroid, I think, sometimes might get confused. A comet is where you might see, like, it's shooting um, in the sky. But it's frozen gas and dust all together flying around. So we have a crater. It's a circular, like, hole um, made from an asteroid hitting a planet. Galaxy is a big group of stars. A moon is a shape that orbits a planet. Orbit means to travel around in a circle. So a planet, all right, is a body that orbits a star. All these planets are orbiting, orbiting the biggest star we know of called the sun. Rotate means to spin. Like when you take your Beyblade and it's spinning, that's rotating. Orbit is when you go around. Spinning like a Beyblade is rotating. And a star gives off heat and light. Heat and light. Those two usually go together, all right? So it's time to head back. I hope you all enjoyed our tour of the solar system. So a really cool book about all of the planets. So message me on Dojo or leave a comment on this video and tell me what your favorite planet is. All right, let's see what the order was again. So we had Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Asteroid Belt, and then we're in the gas planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then we got Pluto out here. Bye, guys.